good, all my drivers? What's good? Hope everybody doing all right. Congratulations to some guys that uh, watch my videos and getting ready to start orientation. Congratulations to you guys, man. I want to say um, I appreciate y'all watching my videos. I appreciate y'all uh, listening to my words. I appreciate y'all joining the company. Uh, anybody else thinking about joining the company? Come on over. I'm not uh, sweet talking anything. I'm not. I'm not sugar coating. I'm giving it to you guys straight as I get it, and I just want everybody to get the same treatment that I get. Uh, with that being said, you have to treat people the way you want to be treated. This is a business. You have to understand that in a business. You have to treat people the way you want to be treated. Um, you have to have a strong work ethic. I'll say that over and over again, you guys. You have to have a strong work ethic here. You can't be a uh, average to mill running type of driver here. Uh, they have loads they need moved, and they count on you to move those loads. Now, if you want to be stopping everywhere and 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 I'm going to stop here, get something to eat, I'm going to sit here for a couple of hours, you know, take me a little nap or whatnot, then this is not the place for you. Um, we don't need guys that want to uh, argue with their DMs and and cause problems for themselves. You're, you're not causing problems for them. You're causing problems for yourself. Um it's a great company, great job. I plan on this being my last job. Like I tell y'all, this is my last job. But check this out. Right now, we're over here in Greenville, South Carolina, over here at a uh, house of Rayford, here to pick up a load that's going down to uh, Salon Springs, Arkansas, which is like right down the street from the yard. So, um, this is where we're at, man. We're waiting to get loaded. Let me zoom in. Y'all can see my trailer over there. Over here, they have you unhook from your trailer and leave it parked over there. Uh, like when you come through the gate, um, they have you park your. They have you turn toward the left and go drop your trailer off over there. And then you come over here by this building here. You see the building when you're coming through the gate and they have you park on the left side of this building in front of me here. This building right here, guys. They have you park right there. So, with that being said, let's get into this load. This is number 25, 25? Let's see here, let's see, man. Cause I write down all my loads, guys. This is load number 24, my bad load number 24 yes sir same size rims i have on my on my uh chrysler 300 if y'all have seen the videos about my chrysler 300 it sits on 24s this is load number two four man we're doing big things here at hurricane man if you're looking for a home to come to this is the place to come to guys uh go on there on the video uh subscribe like comment share talk to your friends about hurricane uh, i'm glad to be helping out anybody i can help out to get out to get over here and uh i'm i'm just amazed that i have some guys that watch my videos that want to come over here to the company that makes me feel good that i touch somebody enough for them to come over here and my words meant something to them that's that's big to me we're gonna get into this video we're gonna be trying to drop this load off either tomorrow night or or Saturday morning sometime. So I'll get back with you guys. Once we get the load weighed out, y'all know how I do it. I show y'all, I tell y'all where I'm at. Try to help y'all try to get in here when you get here. And then I go and we have to weigh out every load. No matter how much it weighs, we have to go weigh out every load. So we'll get back with you guys when we stop the weigh the load. And uh, we'll go from there, man. So we'll talk to y'all soon. Yes, sir. All right, guys. We're all loaded up over here in uh, 
Greenville, South Carolina. Got it all loaded. Running at 20 degrees. That's where it's at right now. I got the tandems slid back to about the seventh hole on it. And um, we still got to go and wear it out. There's a pilot like about 15 miles from here. So we're going to go and wear it out at the pilot. Man, they ripped off my mud flap, man. Look at this, man. They ripped off my mud flap, dude. Oh, that's not cool. That's not cool at all, man. I'm going to be dragging that thing, man. But uh, I'll try to fix it here in a second. But um, it's what it is, man. It's kind of melting right now because I just got the trailer and it's waiting for it to cool off. But we still got to go and wear it, guys. So we'll go and do that, and then we'll get back with you guys in a minute. Yes, sir. What up, my people? What up, what up, what up? All right, man, as y'all can see, we got the load scaled out. Um, we're over here in South Carolina still, um, here in Piedmont, and we got it scaled out here at the pilot. As you can see, 13,920 or 820 on the stairs. We could be 14,2 on the stairs, guys, so don't worry about that. Don't don't fret on that. Uh, Thirty-one two hundred on the drives. Thirty-one nine twenty on the trailer. Um, I can't go back four. Then that would put it back at thirty-one five twenty. And I mean, I can go back one hole, which is four hundred pounds. Each hole on our trailer is like four hundred pounds, guys. So if I did that, then I would be thirty-one six on the drives and then i would be 31 520 on the uh on the trailer might as well just leave it where it's at guys it's it's good it's riding good just leave it where it's at and and go from there so this is where we're at i'm gonna snap a picture of this and send it in with the temps and let them know it's the scale ticket for this load uh whenever you uh going with your load you have to send it in with your temp your first temp that you do of the load i've already sent in the temp of the load now i gotta send them the picture of this on the temps uh temps at hurricane express or temps at uh they'll explain it to you in orientation but i know it's uh temps at uh h-u-r-e-x-p dot com something like that but uh, they'll explain it to you in orientation But uh, it's weighed out pretty good We're just going to ride with it guys We're going to get up out of here And uh, we got 3 hours and 55 minutes To uh, go handle some, some driving So we're going to do all the driving we can In those 3 hours and 55 minutes And uh, find us somewhere to park then And go from there in the morning Take a 10 hour break And go from there in the morning guys So we'll holler at y'all in the morning Y'all be safe tonight. It's Thursday night. Y'all be safe. And we'll talk with y'all in the morning. Yes, sir. Morning, my fellow drivers. Uh, paper chasers. How y'all doing this morning? Hope everybody all right. Come on, this way. Come on. Out here walking this belly. A little foggy out here this morning. Let's see if I can wipe this lens off. Go. That's a little bit better, hopefully. But um, we're over here in Russellville, Arkansas. It's uh, 6.30 in the morning over here. Made it over here to Russellville. And uh, got about 100 and something miles to go to get up to West Salom Springs, Arkansas. Drop off the load at Simmons. We're just going to be dropping off the trailer and uh, Bob telling to the yard. So uh, just been putting it down. Um, let me tell you guys something. Um, if you get your load info and your load info is telling you it's a dry load, um, it's best to ask questions, guys. You know, um, I got my load info and the load info said it was a dry load 
So when I dropped off in Charlotte the other day, I turned my reefer off, you know, let the thing thaw out. It's been at minus 10 for days, you know. So I let it thaw out. I get over there to the shipper over there in Greenville, South Carolina, over there at a uh, house of Rayford, and I gotta, it's gotta be turned back on to 20 degrees to load up the chicken I picked up over there in house of Ray, at House of Rayford. So um, I always ask, man. When I got there, I asked the the guy at the at the gate. I said. Uh, Excuse me, is this a dry load or is this a reefer load? He says a reefer load it's supposed to be set at 20 degrees. I said, okay, no problem. And uh, then yesterday, um, well, night before last, we stayed in Moody, but I didn't film. I was tired. I didn't film anything over there. We stayed in Moody, Alabama at the Loves over there, exit 147 on I-20 uh, on the eastbound side there in Alabama, just east of uh, Birmingham. Stayed over there. And uh, I didn't film, just too tired, hungry, ready to go to bed. So, sorry about that, guys. I usually let y'all know where I'm at, but I'm, I'm letting you know where I was now. Then, uh, yesterday we made it over here to Russellville and uh, getting ready to take off from here after Miss Bailey do her thing. But, um, um, it is right there, man. Let me zoom in for y'all a little bit. Okay. We're gonna go to Fort Smith and start cutting up north. But just ask questions, man. If my my dispatcher called me yesterday, cause I told him I said uh, I've been sending them pictures, you know. So he called me up and he was like, I thought that was a dry load, and I'm like, no, I had to set it at 20. And he's like, oh, okay. So. He wanted me to send him pictures of my BOLs. So I sent him pictures of my BOLs. Now, as far as uh, the pay of the load, uh, I'm not sure, because this is my first time doing reefer. So if anybody knows, let me know. Does the price of the load go up since it's not a dry load and it's now a reefer load? Does the price go up? Y'all let me know down in the comment section because I have no idea. This is my first time pulling reefer. And uh, I'm just going to ask my DM today when I talk to him. Hey, man, does the price change since there's a reefer load? You know, running my reefer, that that reefer has to be, be filled up, you know. I have to put it in there to keep it going, you know. So I would think that it would change, but... We'll find out, guys. I ask questions, and we find out, and then I let y'all know, man. Or y'all let me know. But by the time y'all see this video, that load will be over. So, <laughs> uh, we about to get up out of here. She's just running around a little bit. I'm letting her stretch her legs and stuff like that. The life of a dog on the road in a big truck, you know, and she ain't no little bitty tiny dog where she could just hop on the bed and run around the truck and stuff. It ain't like that. You know, she pretty much, she walks around the truck, but she pretty much lays down and, you know, sits up, want to be petted. She'll get up on the passenger seat while she's riding and check out the scenery and stuff, like a little old lady, you know, but that's my little good lady right there. That's my baby. I've had her since she was fresh off her mama's boop boop, you know. Uh, but, uh, that's, that's that. So, uh. We'll see you guys when we drop off the load over at Simmons and we'll finish out this video or we'll probably finish it out at the yard so I can show y'all some of the trucks. Yeah, I do it like that. I'll show y'all when we get to Simmons and then uh, I'll get back with y'all again when we get to the yard. Yes, sir. What up all my paper chasers? Made it over here to the yard. We got the load dropped off over there at Simmons here in Salon Springs. Now I'm over here at the yard, giving y'all a view of some of the equipment we got. These are brand new 389s. These are gonna be the 333 uh, inch. Yeah, the 333s. These are gonna be the long boys. They're gonna come with their own matching trailer, spread axle trailers. 
gonna be dope. Some nice colors, man. They haven't started on these yet, but these are sitting out here. And you can see that long, it's gonna be long. Ooh, it's gonna be long. Good God, it's gonna be long. 333 inches. Yes, yeah, sir. Those things look good, man. They're gonna start uh, painting on these and putting the stripes on them and stuff. Gonna have them look real nice. Real nice. Look at those colors. Those colors are, are, are dope. Look at those colors, guys. Um, this is our yard over here. Uh, over here, where I'm walking to right now, is the trailer shop. That's the trailer shop there. But we got some trucks out here waiting to hit the road. Walking Miss Bailey. I just gave her a country bath. Y'all don't know what that is. That's what a water hose outside. Let's get at it. Let's get it washed up. Let's get that butt washed. So she's all clean and happy, feeling fresh. But uh, these are some of the other trucks we have. Over here, that's ready to hit the road. Waiting, waiting on drivers. Waiting. Like, come on, come get in me. I'm ready to hit the road. Beautiful trucks. Um, those are 579s. Nice trucks, man. Nice, beautiful color schemes on them and stuff. We're still waiting on a bunch of new uh, 579s to come in. I'm waiting on mine. I didn't wanna, I didn't wanna hop in another one. They had a dark blue one, but I didn't want it. But these are some of the trucks we have here that's waiting to be jumped into. Um, we got some uh, 389s over here. I don't know if those are going to be traded in or what. I have no idea. So uh, we won't even mess with that. But uh, real nice trucks, man. 389, 389. Real nice trucks. Um, and then we have some 579s over here. I think are getting ready for the next class that's about to come in. Just beautiful trucks. The color schemes on them are, are, are beautiful. Real nice. And they, they park them over here by the trailer shop uh, for the new class that's coming in. This is where ours was parked at when we first got on with the company. And uh, just, just look at these colors, man. They're real nice. It's a cool ass company to work for. Um, Everybody here, down to earth people. Nobody is above one another. It's all a family here. You come here, you your family. Look, there's another 389 there. There's a 579 right there. And um, we're gonna walk over here a little bit and let y'all see uh, some of the other trucks that drivers are driving right now. Over there, that green one over here, that's a 333 inch, uh, 579. Um, real nice, real nice. Same color as, as the green machine. Not the green machine, but uh, it is nice. And over here is loaded trailers. Over here are empty trailers that you can pick up when you get this best on load. Come on, come on. Hey, this way. <laughs> she likes to run off and try to run off and do her own thing, but she don't go too far. She's a good dog. She don't go too far from me. Um, over here, we have a uh, 579 that's, uh, that's wrapped. Um, I don't know if anybody's in it anymore, but it's a beautiful truck. And the 22s, it's, this one is a 21, but the 22s are similar to this. Very similar. Come on, this way, this way. Hey, over here, over here. Look at this thing, man. This thing is beautiful. I don't know if somebody's still driving it. I think somebody is. I see their stuff in there. But uh, look at this truck, man. That's what the new 22s look like, but this is a wrap on this one. Come on, this way. This is a wrap on this one. And uh, 
It's beautiful. Look at that red lettering. Brand new tires on it. It's actually a red truck underneath the wrap. But um, still in all, man, still a beautiful truck. Still nice looking. Um, they're, they're just beautiful. I can't wait to get my 22, man. It's got the long, it's got the long breather on the side like this. It's got that long, uh, uh, for the lane, lane of departure and all of that stuff. Um, look at the, look at the grill on it. That's a badass grill, man. Look at that thing. Wow, that thing is phenomenal. Then you got the, the pieces up here to help deflect the wind. You got the pieces up there. The mirrors on the 22s are a little bit different. They're not as they're not as tall as that. They're a little shorter than that. And uh, of course, you're gonna have all your chicken lights. There's another one of our trucks right here. These are trucks that guys are driving or that are ready to go. And uh, they're just beautiful trucks. You got 389 right there. 05 that's a real nice truck I like that color it's like a purple with green stripes on it and uh, real nice um, just out here showing y'all some of the equipment out here that we have man real nice trucks real nice equipment come on over and join the family um, get in touch with them on Facebook get in touch with them online fill out your application this is the shop where you get your trucks fixed Take it in there and they, they work on it for you. But um, just real nice trucks. If you drive your vehicle over here, this is where you would park your vehicle to the uh, west side of the truck shop. That's where you would park your vehicle at. If you drive your vehicle, your personal vehicle over here. Uh, we got some real nice 333s. Gonna be going out, they're getting them ready. Um, it's, just, it's just phenomenal. Y'all see the green machine there? Green machine ready to go. We dropped off that load, got everything done. So uh, that's gonna end it for this video, guys. We just finished number 24. We're ready to start on number 25 and uh, keep that ball rolling, man. Doing a little laundry right now since we're here. Gave her a bath since we're here. And uh, just waiting to get up out of here. So uh, we'll catch you guys when we get ready to get started on the next video. And until then, y'all know what I say, man. Wash your hands, wash your ass, wear your mask, uh, be with your loved ones. Um, don't let nobody stop you from doing what you want to do. Stay positive. Uh, I'm going to keep on making these videos for every load I do, man. Every load I do is going to be a video. And I'm going to keep on making them. I don't let haters uh, discourage me. Or nothing like that you can't because if you let haters discourage you then you're gonna wind up with nothing so uh just check it out man and uh, we'll see y'all on the next video until then g-dog out peace yes sir